About a month ago, I left my nine to five job to focus on growing my side hustle. If you don't know, I run an online community for sober and sober curious young adults. I really wanted to focus on enhancing this community and part of that enhancement was a badly needed rebrand. So I rolled up my sleeves, got to work and documented it for you all. One thing that did happen today at my haircut, basically I was writing in my journal last night, like universe, please just give me a sign if this is what I'm supposed to be doing. This referring to the project that I'm working on. And like about halfway through the appointment, I look up, there was like a neon sign on the wall and I like knew it was a neon sign, but I didn't really read what it said. And then about halfway through the appointment, I like read actually what it said. And it said, this is your sign. So I kind of, freaked out a little bit because I was just thinking about how I needed a sign and I feel like the universe was kind of mocking me because I I feel like deep down I know what I'm supposed to be doing and what I want to be doing and I'm just like needing confirmation and I feel like it was the universe just kind of poking fun at me and being like I literally can't make it more obvious than this so that was really cool and then I came home and someone had dm'd me and said just I just wanted to let you know like that was a great meeting the other night I think this has the potential to become a business like everything's there so that was another sign that just like popped into my dms The number one thing that helps my stress and anxiety over certain things is planning and making lists. So that's exactly what I did. So I basically broke it up into phases. So I have phase one, which is like building the brand. So like building the website, building the um, brand kits, all the new assets and templates that I want to use for the new Instagram page, revamping the newsletter. Phase two is transferring all of my Steph Sober Squad group and then setting up, yeah, like the new member area, part of the website, drafting like the welcome emails. We're also switching to a different like group chat platform. So I'm trying to figure out all the permissions for that and then testing it obviously phase three is planning to be jobless so i'm just going to figure out my budget and my current expenses and how much i need to make with little tiny side hustles each week to just stay afloat and i think i'm gonna try like wag and rover for the first month or two and we're gonna see how that works phase four is to prep for the reveal so changing all of my like youtube headers changing my Instagram bios, tagging like my new account, you know, linking things out, making sure everything legal is in place and then making the website live. Oh, and creating videos and reels to announce the brand and then post those and go live by September 14th. I don't have a name for the group yet and I'm honestly debating right now. It's called Steph Sober Squad. I'm honestly debating just keeping it as that and letting the name come to me later because I, I have all the content and everything ready. I have the website ready. I just don't have a name and I don't want, but I, I also don't want to like launch this with the Steph Sober Squad only to rename it in like a few weeks or a month. But I know like this is what's holding me back from creating content because I'm so hyper focused on this. So I just need to come up with a name. It doesn't have to be anything extravagant. I've realized like the more extravagant I make it, the more confusing it might be. So I feel like I just have to make it simple and to the point. And that's like my main goal today. Like if I can't come up with it today, I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's day two, it's Tuesday. Still no brand name. I thought I had an epiphany last night and I was going to put the word lucid in the name. Like I was really thinking I had it because lucid means like, you know, clear headed. 
And then I just checked the Urban Dictionary definition because I was like, I swear lucid means like something else. And I just wanted to be safe. So of course, when I looked at Urban Dictionary, one of the definitions of it is like the moment that you enter a psychedelic <laughs> um, trip on drugs. So we didn't want to do that for a sober group. No, no. I've had some good ideas. I've had some good recommendations of ideas. And I'm still just feeling trapped. And I've been looking on Reddit, like how the heck do you come up with the name of something? And all of the Reddit sites that I'm seeing and all of the Reddit threads and everything, all of them talk about don't spend hours and days even like agonizing over your name because that's not what's important. Names don't build businesses. The marketing, the branding, everything builds businesses and the benefits and the values and what you're actually doing with the company. I had a uh, meltdown this morning. I... It's my quinoa. Essentially all of Monday and Tuesday, today's Wednesday, all of the past two days I have been trying to figure out a freaking name. I haven't done anything else except think about this and so I haven't like I've been so hyper focused on it that I haven't done anything else really but I think I finally figured it out today. <sighs> Y'all. I finally think that I have the name of the brand. It has been um, m many weeks since I have been trying to decide this. Obviously by the time this video launches, you will see which one I picked. The past few days I've been able to really work on the website, which has been fun and frustrating because I'm doing it in Squarespace, which I really love Squarespace, but there's limited things you can do in terms of customization. Um, I think that's the case with like a lot of, you know, build your own website brands and companies, but I've had to figure out how to use code and like basically just through Google searches, I'm finding like pieces of code to help customize my website in the way that I want. And so far I think it looks really good. So I'm super excited about that. All I have left to do, I have to finish the website, which I'm basically almost done. I think the only page that I still have to do is my resources page because I've really been taking time to look for diverse, a diverse range of resources. And then I have to, oh, I have to make this like legal. I have like privacy policies and terms and conditions on stephaniestill.com and I have to, you can't use like the same ones for obvious reasons. Like I couldn't just copy and paste it. Um, so I have to come up with like new privacy policy and new terms and conditions for my new site. I use this really helpful platform that basically did it for me. I'll figure out what it is and I'll link it down below. Cause you basically just like, I answer a bunch of, que answer a bunch of questions about your business and then it spits out the privacy policy. So I have to do that. I have to create an LLC cause I want to do that. So I'm going to create the LLC and then from that, set up like a QuickBooks account, which is like an accounting um, software platform where you can keep track of your expenses and your income. So I wanna, I, I already keep track of the expenses and income, but I wanna put it in like a software like QuickBooks where it's all, that's like what it's meant for. I'm just doing it in like an Excel sheet and it's not the best. So I'm really just trying to like, if this is gonna be a business, which it is like really trying to fine tune everything, make it legal, make, it organized, make sure I know like what I'm bringing in, what I'm paying for, all of that. So just like the fine tuning of that. I've been starting to feel a little bit of money stress. One thing that I did do to kind of ease the stress is I posted on my apartment's like community board saying that I was available, available for pet sitting. And I already have a cat sitting gig starting on Monday for two weeks. I'm gonna go meet the cat and the people. Um, but yeah, I'm just really trying to like figure out my options of like things that I can do that'll give me an income, but not so much like a job that I would have to like quit again. That's what I wanna avoid. Like I don't wanna, I was thinking about doing like a barista job at like a coffee shop, but I don't, I just don't wanna have to go through the process of like quitting again. Um, but yeah, it's 10, 15 on a Saturday night. I'm going to bed. I just worked on the website for the past like three hours and it's looking pretty good. Wish I could just like talk to a lawyer like and like just run, like make sure everything's in order, make sure everything's operating legally, but I just don't know where to find that. 
So yeah, just figuring out all of that good stuff. Also tomorrow I'm going to focus on building the launch materials. Tomorrow all I have is a meeting, the um, currently Steph Sober Squad meeting. So I have pretty much all day to work on this. I really wanna get all the launch materials, everything done. I wanna get the web, the Instagram page like planned out for the next few weeks just so that I'm ready to launch on Monday and I can stop freaking just not stressing, not stressing over this. I am grateful, but just so that I can actually, you know, dive into content more. Um, I just, this website and this rebrand has really been taking up a lot of my time. somehow turned a corner in my life and I really enjoy colder weather. I feel like I'm gearing up to I don't know, go on an adventure. Yeah, I'm gonna go on my walk and then I have my meeting at 10. It's 8.30 so I have a good amount of time to go on a walk and eat breakfast. Um, I just stretched, journaled, did up my whole little morning routine and planned out like what I have to do today to get prepped for launch tomorrow, hopefully. Well, it's five o'clock. I have been working for the past few hours on the website. I was so naive. I was so naive when I thought a couple, like two months ago that I could get the whole website finished before I quit my job. I can barely get it finished and this is all I'm focusing on. <laughs> I wanna launch tomorrow. It's starting to feel like that's not going to happen because it is five, I need to get out of the apartment. I got lotion in my eye. I'm not crying, but if I was crying, that'd be okay. It's Monday morning, it's like 10 a.m. I slept in a smidge. I'm feeling a bit tired, but I'm ready to take on the day. I'm ready to dive into the website and I really do feel like I can finish it today. Truly, because I have all day long. The only thing I have to do today that involves leaving the apartment is probably another walk at some point and taking care of my neighbor's cats, which I'm actually excited for. So I'm gonna go do that, but that's in the evening. I am completely and utterly drained. So, <laughs> I was gonna try and like continue the rebrand, but I sent out my newsletter today um, a day late. Usually goes out on Wednesdays. Today's Thursday. I sent it out and I put in there that the rebrand, the launch of the rebrand will be on Tuesday. And now that I've sent it out to the community, I am holding myself accountable. That's a tip for you. If you feel like, you know, you're stuck in like the planning stage or you're stuck in the stage of, you know, tweaking everything to like make it perfect. One thing that I did when I was starting my YouTube channel was like I set a date and I made a little contract with myself and my sister. And I said, if I don't post a video on this date, I will give you, I don't remember the amount that I said, but I said some amount of money. And I did it with her because my sister is someone who would track me down for that money if we agreed to it. So pick someone in your life that you know would hold you accountable, make a contract with them, even if that has to be yourself, like do something where the date is solidified. So like sending out the newsletter, now I have to launch on, on Tuesday and I'm definitely going to be able to. I have been slacking on the filming of this whole launch process, that's for sure, but what I do know is today's the 17th, and I posted on Instagram and told the whole community that I would be launching on the 18th, so that is tomorrow, 
and I feel like I'm pretty close. Like last Friday, I don't know if I shared this, but I signed up for, signed up, filed to be an LLC, um, got like a virtual office, got, you know, a registered agent. If none of that makes sense to you, don't worry, it didn't make any sense to me. But if you're interested in the process, like the exact process of how I made like this business official, like I made a LinkedIn page today. If you're interested in all of that, let me know. All I need to do today is create the launch materials. So like, what am I gonna post on Instagram and YouTube and TikTok and everything? So that's my, um, that's my plan for today. Good morning. It's 2.45 in the morning and I'm just trying to get all of my launch materials ready. Day if you're not experiencing technical difficulties. I'm currently quite frustrated, but hoping to launch. It's already 9.45, which means it's almost 1 p.m. on the East Coast. So I'm really trying to get this done ASAP, like hopefully in the next hour or so, but I'm just running into a slight delay in transferring the members. There was this whole thing that I probably should have looked at before day of launch about how to transfer the members to a new platform. And it's just taking a lot longer than I thought. So I'm gonna, I just ate cause I needed some sustenance to carry me through the rest of this process. Um, and then yeah, hoping to launch soon. I don't even know what I shared last. Today's Thursday. It has been two days since we launched Study Sunday, and I'm feeling so much better now, but holy crap, Tuesday and Wednesday were very stressful. And I know I talk about mental health and not putting work over your mental health and that is definitely what i did this week i definitely put this launch over my mental health which really defeats like everything i feel like i'm trying to build with this community i don't regret it because it happened and regretting something doesn't do any good but i will use it as a lesson and i will use it to reflect moving forward what i can do differently differently to not let things get to me as quickly because things are going to happen throughout your entire life and all you can control is what your kind of reaction to it is. So if this is going to be my job, if this is going to be my life, I cannot let these setbacks get to me that the way I let them get to me these past few days. Basically getting the members transferred over was a whole deal in the morning. So I didn't end up launching anything until like 2 p.m., which was fine. I know there's a lot more left, but like the heavy lift of this launch is done. And I feel like I could finally take a breath and say thank you for all of the support during the launch. I mean, just the overwhelming support and like feedback on like how good the website looks has been really nice to hear because I really did pour my entire heart and soul into that. My lesson learned from this is like, even though I said 1018 Tuesday launch date, as soon as I started recognizing that I was getting stressed and that launch may not be a possibility on Tuesday. I wish I would have just pushed it out to the next day. Like everyone would have understood if I just explained the technical difficulties because what I did was I wanted to get it out on the day that I said I was going to get it out. So I didn't bother testing when the membership platform said, okay, all your members are imported. I didn't bother having like any member test like actually coming in. So instead I just sent out the mass email and then I was getting all the air messages. So I wish I just would have slowed down and pushed it to a different day. Um, it wouldn't have been the end of the world. It literally would have been the same situation, probably even smoother, definitely smoother if I had just tested it. So that would be my advice is if you're like launching something or working on something big, you know, cover all your, cover all your bases. I thought I had, but obviously I hadn't. Overall, very excited that we're finally launched. Thank you to everyone who has supported the launch so far, just all the kind words. I appreciate it. I'm so excited for just what this community can become. It's already come so far and it would be nothing without its members, obviously. So I, I just really appreciate you all. You guys have all changed my life, truly. And I just think this is a new beginning. 
So what did I launch? I launched SteadySunday.com. Check it out in the description down below. I really wanted to go for something that was, you know, really calm, really serene, really made you feel okay at home when you went to it. And the main product through SteadySunday.com is the Steady Sunday Squad. So if you click on meetings, you'll be taken to the whole page that talks about the Steady Sunday Squad. I, like I said, got very hung up on the name. So it was kind of an impulse decision because I just wanted to get a name done. But Sunday is a day of the week where a lot of people in the group have off. Obviously not everyone. Everyone has different job schedules. It wasn't really about the day of Sunday, but more of like the idea that Sunday is like a day of rest. So whatever day is that day for you, that is what Steady Sunday is trying to encapsulate. And just the idea that, how do I feel when I wake up on Saturday, Sunday, Monday? How do I feel when I wake up without a, hun without a hangover? I feel steady. Steady means rooted in who you are. Steady means balanced. Steady just means calm. Whereas if I think about me waking up when I was hungover and when I had just blacked out the night before. I was the opposite of steady. So really just steady Sunday encapsulates, you know, what we're all going after as we eliminate alcohol is just feeling steady and feeling like we have more control over our days and our emotions. And honestly, I just like the way steady Sunday sounded. So, so yeah, steady Sunday squad. If you look on the website, you'll see everything we're about, but we have weekly check-in meetings. We have topic focused meetings, um, different events. We have a Geneva group chat where we stay in contact between meetings and get support. We have a weekly newsletter that goes out. And overall, it's just a community. It's just a place to feel supported. Like I said, and many people in the community have said this as well, I've never felt so understood by a group of people. And I know that's why people, you know, really enjoy AA meetings and other sober support groups. It's because you have that mutual understanding that, you know, maybe you don't have with someone who's still a drinker. And so if you're just looking for a community that literally feels like a big hug every week check out the steady sunday squad you can sign up down below with the link that being said we have a new member meeting coming up on october 26 at 5 30 p.m pst it is on the calendar if you go to steadysunday.com and click on the calendar you'll see it right there and yeah let me know any questions you have in the comments below or dm me and with that i will see you in the next video